Hello everyone, I'm Danny Boatwright and welcome to this edition of Inside Sports, news you can almost trust. We kick off tonight's segment with more news on none other than Cleveland's favorite son, LeBron James. Bad blood is still brewing between Mr. James and his former boss, current Cleveland Cavaliers owner, Dan Gilbert. Mr. James has recently produced audio tapes of Mr. Gilbert harassing him over his decision to leave Cleveland on July 7th. Apparently, the calls were made to LeBron's cell phone during the hours of 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. this past weekend in what appears to be nothing more than a case of drunk dialing. Look, I'm as sick and tired of LeBron James as the next person, but this brutal breakup is not going away anytime soon, and I have to admit that listening to these tapes, it looks like it's only going to get worse. Here, let's take a listen. Hey, LeBron, it's Dan, you mother Call me back. I've left you 20 messages. Call me back. Bon, bon. Guess who? Listen, just want to ask you a couple questions. Actually, one question. Why? Why? I just want an answer. I deserve that much, you Call me back, you God, I'm getting sick of calling you. Hey, your majesty. Pick up the phone. All I want is an answer. You know, they say time heals all wounds, but in the damn Gilbert LeBron James feud, it looks like that time has just stood still. It's unbelievable. Let's take a look at some comments that we received today from various celebrities on what they thought of the tapes. After giving a speech today at an NAACP rally, Mel Gibson had this to say, despicable and tasteless. This is a perfect example of people who drink way too much, then shoot off their mouth without thinking of the repercussions. Classless. Michael Richards of Seinfeld fame was also at the NAACP rally with Mel Gibson and responded by saying that, in this day and age, people need to think before they speak. One mistake and it's all over the internet and media within seconds. It appalls me how stupid some people can be. Actor Alec Baldwin also chimed in. What was Dan Gilbert thinking? What idiot leaves a vile message like that on an answering machine? Well, fellas, you should know, huh? <laughs> and now let's bring you, the viewers, up to date on the latest headline news